everyone welcome to local stack today i'm going to demonstrate how you can set up step up authentication using amazon cognito on local stack so let's get started so we have created developer hub where you can explore our sample applications and step by step tutorial to unlock local stacks integrated cloud developer experience these sample application help you establish your foundation in local stack and help you get started with it now these are all supported by local stack to help you develop and test cloud applications efficiently. This is the first video in a series of upcoming videos in which we will demonstrate the different use cases we have in Developer Hub to help you get started. But for the first video, we are going to work with Step Up Authentication using Amazon Cognito. Let me tell you briefly about Step Up Authentication. A good example is when a user has authenticated using the username and password, but now they are about to perform some high risk action. For instance, payment or accessing the admin area of your application. So at this point, you might want to challenge them to prove their identity to a higher level, possibly using OTP or biometrics. So this elevation process is step up authentication. The sample which we are going to use today, which is step up authentication, uses AWS services such as Amazon Cognito, DynamoDB, API Gateway Lambda Authorizer and different Lambda functions. So we will be setting this whole bunch of AWS services locally using local stack. Let's discuss a simplified version of how the different services play their part in application. Now the user sends a HTTP request using the application client which is implemented in React.js and Amplify. All the requests are handled by the API gateway which in turn routes the request to the respective Lambda function on the basis of the API endpoint. So these Lambdas uses Cognito as the user identity pool thus verifying the user identity. And finally, to maintain the persistence, we use DynamoDB. DynamoDB setting table is used to check whether the current request needs elevated privilege or not. Now, you can also refer to the official AWS blogs for additional design documentation and implementation. We are also using local surf browser plugin to test the application on your local machine to make the API request to local stack deployment URL instead of AWS so that you can use your production code locally without any changes. Now let's come back to the issue at hand. Let's look at step up auth. You can also find this example at developer hub with a lot of other examples as well. So there are a few prerequisites which you need to take care of. For example, you need to have local stack pro image installed. You need to have local surf. You need to have AWS CLI with the AWS local wrapper. You need to have CDK with the CDK local wrapper and a Node.js version with NPM package manager. You can find the links to the documentation to set up each of these in the sample repo. Awesome. So let's get started now. First, you need to clone your repo. As you can see on my screen, I've already cloned it. The next step is running some commands from makefile. Makefile commands abstract the steps required to build and deploy the application, which are mentioned in detail in the build.sh and deploy local.sh script, which is present in deployment directory. So you can check that out. Now let's move back and let's get started. So my first command is make start. So this will start local stack in daemon mode with some cores setting enabled. Once you see the screen mentioning that local stack is running, we can move to the next step. In the next step, we need to build the different zips for each Lambda function. So to build these application zip files, run make build. This step will take some time to complete and make sure you have node and NPM set. So you can easily set up this using NVM, the node version manager. Now that we have application zip build to be uploaded, let's run the deploy command. This will take a few minutes to deploy the application on your local stack. In the end, we should see a deployment URL in the logs. Awesome, so now I can see the sample web app URL in my terminal and I'm going to open this in my browser. So since I have local surf extension already installed, this will enable me to access the application deployed on local stack. Now your application's landing page contains a sign in form as you can see. To sign in, you need to have a user account. You can also create a new user account by clicking the register button, which we are going to do now. Now you can see that it asked me to enter verification code. So I will go back to the terminal and I will enter local stack logs. 
and here in the logs i can see the confirmation code for cognito user test so i'm just going to copy this and enter it and now i'm verified so i will just sign in again so i'm able to log in so now if you want to work with your team member you can also check out cloud pods so cloud pods is a mechanism that allows you to take a snapshot of the state in your current local stack instance so we have the instruction in the readme over here so you can follow it and get started with local stack and cloud pod thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this demo if you have any questions regarding this demo or anything else you can always reach out to us at our slack community channel which is localstack-community.slack.com